Hello, welcome to Dr. Vicki's Kitchen. Today I have a really fun recipe for you. Who doesn't love chocolate? The thing I've been kind of confronting lately is the fact that pretty much all chocolate has sugar in it and sugar causes cancer. I mean, for so long it was all about the high fructose corn syrup and the sugar seemed okay, but more and more data has come out now and we really just need to look at the fact that sugar is carcinogenic and it's also inflammatory, it also causes obesity. And there's plenty of really healthy sugars out there, um, you know, sugar-like things, that um, are very usable in recipes. So I have a few recipes that lately we've been making a lot. We've got a chocolate bark recipe that's really fun. It's making your own chocolate with in added ingredients like nuts and raisins and cranberries, whatever you want to add to it. And then we've been doing energy bites, and these are really fun. But once again, they had that chocolate in it, and even you know, as, as low sugar as you can go, that sugar was still there and it was bugging me. So um, I came up with this recipe that's very easy, only has four ingredients, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. The four ingredients are cacao butter, cacao powder, I'm using date syrup as the sweetener, and vanilla, and a pinch of salt, so five ingredients. So this is what cacao butter looks like. It um, is these chunks, and we're gonna put it on the top of a double boiler, and we're gonna do a just a cup, and we're gonna melt that. When this melts, it smells heavenly. This is what it looks like in the bag. So this is the kind I got, but it's this big chunks, and uh, you'll see it smells delicious. So I have to give it a couple minutes to melt, and then I'll show you how we add the rest of the ingredients. All right, it's all melted. It smells delicious. So now this was heated over a double boiler. You want to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. You don't want to singe your butter. It's similar to melting chocolate. So now we take it off the heat and we simply add our last few ingredients. We have a cup of the cacao powder and that's uh, organic, of course. And we're just going to whisk that in. We're gonna add four tablespoons of date syrup. What's great about date sugar in any form, whether it's powdered or the syrup like this, is that it's really still a whole food. It's just ground up. And so it doesn't have any of the negatives of sugar because it's basically like eating dates. So we just get this nice and smooth. And then the last ingredient, set this aside, is a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, and a pinch of salt. We're going to do the vanilla. Do you know, the way I got thinking about this was not only an effort to avoid sugar, but cacao has so many wonderful benefits, it's really considered a superfood. So I thought, well, it's a shame to not enjoy it just because we can't have sugar. So this is nice and smooth now, and uh, next thing I'm going to do is show you how to pour it into a mold. All right, so as you saw, we poured from the double boiler into the glass dish just to make pouring easier. I got these molds, and you'll see in the picture, they look really cute and very professional. I mean, you could serve this to company, and they think you went to Godiva or something and bought them, you know, very expensive chocolates. Uh, they taste very high end because they're so pure. I think that's why I tried them on some friends and staff members, and they said, this just tastes like very expensive chocolate. So that's pretty fun. I got the molds for the aesthetic portion of it, but you could really simply take a glass dish with a little parchment paper and make your own bark and then cut it up and use it however you want. The other thing about these molds that's fun is that um, We've tried this a couple of times. You can put some nut butters on the inside. You could um, toast some almonds or any other kind of nut that you like and also put, you know, kind of layer it. So there's really no end of fun you can have with this. But use this recipe in anything that calls for chocolate. It's, as you saw, very fast to make. This will be in the fridge for about two hours and then enjoy. Tell me how you like it. And you can, this is chocolate you can really feel good about. So until next time, I wish you fun in the kitchen from Dr. Vicki's Kitchen. And if your health is not the way you want it to be, please consider reaching out to us at Root Cause Medical Clinic. We help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, and their resilience. And we'd love to help you. You can give me a call at the clinic at 408-733-0400. I'll see you soon.